Ladies and gentlemen, the Railroad Hour. And here comes our star-studded show train. Tonight, the Association of American Railroads presents the new musical version by Lawrence and Lee of the great stage and screen hit Seventh Heaven, starring Gordon McRae and his guest, the star of the New York City Opera Company, Miss Anne Ayers. Our choir is under the direction of Norman Luboff, and our music is prepared and conducted by Carmen Dragon. Yes, tonight another musical first is brought to you by the American Railroads. The same railroads that bring you most of the food you eat, the clothes you wear, the fuel you burn, and all the other things you use in your daily life. And now, here is our star, Gordon McRae. Thank you, Marlon Miller, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight, we take you to Paris of 1914. For seventh heaven. Notice you coming up. <laughs> Tell me, old friend, does it ever depress you working in the sewers? Depress me? Never. Why, Bull, sometimes I feel like a king. <laughs> For no reason at all. <laughs> you see, uh... though I work in the sewers of Paris town, I always look up. I never look down. I have no use. Pessimist, so she goes a man with a dream in his fist. I'll laugh and I'll grin and I'll swear and I'll sin and I'll throw my heart in the sky, for I'm a remarkable fellow. A remarkable fellow am I. I'm the best darn sore man in the whole world. <laughs> if you call me a name, why, I'll call you the same. And I'll sing this refrain till I die. Oh, I'm a remarkable fellow. A remarkable fellow am I. You can blot out the sun, you can black out the sky. But I'll look at the world and I'll spit in its eye. You can hold a man down, you can make a man squirm, but he's only a worm if he thinks like a worm. <laughs> Not Chico, no sir. I'll plan and I'll scheme, and I'll dare and I'll dream, and I'll find that star in the sky. You know, even in that sewer I sometimes see stars. For I'm a remarkable fellow, a remarkable fellow am I. Well, citizens, fellow citizens, I greet you from my lowly sewer. <laughs> citizens, back to my cozy suit. Diane, stop! No, no, please, no. Do, do as I say, we have to eat. No! Stand here on this corner, sing your song. A man will come close, he'll be so entranced that he won't see me relieving him of his purse. Begin. No, no. You want me to beat you again? No, 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 I'll sing. <laughs> Oh, pray, 
She's trying to steal your purse. Oh, 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 thank you, my child. How dare you talk about your own sister like that? You need a good beating. No, no, no I'll do as you say. You! Here, stop that. Hey, let go of me. Nobody beats anybody else in this neighborhood. It gives my sewer a bad name. Now, how would you like me to lift you up like oh, this no! and drop you right into the sewer? No, don't, don't drop me, don't. You promise never to beat this girl again. I promise. That's better. How dare you treat a lady like this? I'm going for the gendarme. Chico, you're a good man. A religious man. Uh, don't be ridiculous, boo. Why, I'm an atheist. Well, don't you ever pray, Chico? Boo, I have prayed so long and so loud to be a street cleaner up here among the people in the sunshine. Yes? I went to the cathedral... And I bought the largest candle they had for six francs. Well, well, what happened? Nothing. But do you think I gave up? No. I said, Monsieur le bon Dieu, I'm going to give you one more chance. So I lit another candle. Another six francs. Well, well, well what was that one for? Boule, I wanted a wife with yellow hair. A fine, brave, beautiful woman. And... Well, a remarkable fellow like me has got to have a remarkable woman for a wife. Well, almost as remarkable anyway. <laughs> that's asking Le Bon Dieu for a great deal. Well, that's what I prayed for, Boule, and nothing turned up. And now your Bon Dieu owes me 12 francs. And perhaps you can understand why I'm an atheist. Good evening, my son. Oh, oh, Father Cheville. I couldn't help but overhear, my son. Now, here, Chico, is a card. Take it to the Commissioner of Public Works, and he's an old friend of mine. A card? Please arrange to have Citizen Chico transferred to the street washing division. <sighs> Don't believe it. Uh, you see, the bon Dieu heard your prayer after all. Now, I want you to have these two medals of St. John and St. Agnes. Religious medals? Father, I, I'm an atheist. Now, take them, please. Now, I bid you good evening, dear friends. Boor, I am a man of position. And look here, real silver. Wait a minute. Why, there's still a price tag on them. Twelve francs. What? Well, that's what you paid for the candles. Now, Le Bon Dieu doesn't owe you anything. Bull, you, you leave me alone. I, I've got to think. Certainly, Chico. <laughs> oh, well, you're still here. Hold up your head. Let me look at your face. Uh, what's your name? Diane. My name's Chico. It's uh, more like a noise than a name. <laughs> Tell me, what's going to happen to you? I, I was thinking of jumping into the sand. What? That's a foolish thing to do. The river is for fish, not for pretty faces. <laughs> now, look here, you stop worrying. I tell you, life is short. So why worry so much? Uh, you listen to me, Diane. This is my philosophy. La vie est belle, and peu de pen, and peu d'amour et puis bon jour. La vie est brave and peu de love and peu d'espoir et puis bonsoir. Now you sing along with me. Our life is brief, a little grief, a tiny sigh, and then goodbye. This life is made of all man's pain, a small delight, and then goodbye. You see? <laughs> It's very simple. There she is. She's the thief. Arrest her. Oh, the gendarme. All right. Come along with me, you pickpocket. You'd better be careful what you say about her because... Yes? Because she's my wife. Oh. Ah. Where do you live? 
48 Rue Notre Dame de Lorette. The uh, seventh floor. You'd better be telling the truth, because we'll come check up on that tomorrow. Now, come along, you. You're not a very good informer. He's lying. You'll see. Oh, what have I done? I'll lose my new job. Let me stay with you just until the gendarme come, and, and then I'll go away and not trouble you. I don't know why I do these things. But all right, you come along. You have a great heart, Citizen Chief. Just an old garret. But when you work in the sewer all day, at night you... You want to be as close to the stars as you can. <laughs> Come to the window. Look. A very close friend of mine. The evening star. And all the rooftops of Paris. Uh-oh. Never look down. Always look up. It's like heaven. <laughs> when you smile like that, it is. You know... Your smile lights up the whole room. I'm in heaven when I see you smile. Smile for me, my Diane. And though everything's dark, Turn in just a moment for Act Two of Seventh Heaven. That's the voice of a diesel locomotive, to most of us a symbol of modern railroading. But to railroad men, the diesel locomotive is but one symbol of the vast changes that have come in every part of the railroad plant. Here is Act Two of our musical version of Seventh Heaven, starring Gordon McRae as Chico and Anne Ayers as Diane, with special new music composed by Carmen Dragon and lyrics by Lawrence and Lee. Look, I have a present for you. Oh, such a big box. Well, open it. Oh, Chico, you're so good and kind to me. Every night you go away across the city to stay with your friend, Citizen Bull, and leave me here in, in seventh heaven. Well, why shouldn't I? Because I've lied to you. The mm -hmm. first day after you brought me here, the gendarme came. I told him I was Madame Chico, and he went away. But I didn't tell you because I thought that then I would have to leave. <laughs> You open the box. Oh, Chico, a wedding dress. Do you really want to marry me? Come here by the window. Well, good evening, evening star. You can listen to... To a 
that's in love so far above all earthly mortals. We tread the clouds far from the crowd. When you're with me, we seem to be at heaven's portal. simple. Before there was Chico and there was Diane. And now there's us. Us? You and I are one. So one and one makes one. Or put it this way. Chico, Diane, Terrence. You say it with me. All right. Chico, to have a remarkable woman for a wife. And now look. <laughs> Chico! Chico, open up! It's full! Uh, what's all open the excitement? Up. What's all the excitement? Chico, the mobilization. Our regiment has been called. Come quickly. We must report tonight. Tonight? Go. Go, fool. I will join you as soon as I can. Who will hurry? Diane. Give me courage. Oh, my Chico. I'll make you brave. I'll be beautiful for you and strong for you and wise for you. I, I astonish myself at what I am. You see what you've made of me? I, too, am a very remarkable fellow. Diane, I cannot leave you unless you are my wife. Look, I have saved these medals the father gave me. We'll marry ourselves with them. You hold one, and, and I'll hold one. Monsieur le bon Dieu, listen to us. If there is any truth in the idea of you, please make this a true marriage. Hold my hand, Diane. I take you, Diane, for my wife. I take you, Chico, for my husband forever. Chico, kiss the bride. Diane, listen to me. I will come to you every day, exactly at this hour, just as we both see the evening star. Goodbye, Evan. Chico. No, Chico. Bonsoir. Bonsoir, my Chico. Good evening, my husband. Chico, Diane, Chico, Diane, Diane. 
I hear you, Chico. You are close to me. has been signed. The armistice? Oh, oh Father, now my Chico will be coming home. Diane. What's wrong? Chico will not be coming back. That's not true. For four years I've talked to him every evening. In a few moments I'll talk to him again. Oh, child, child. <gasps> Months ago he gave me this medal to give to you. He told me to tell you that he died looking up. Did you see him die? No, I had to move on. But his name is in the lists. In the lists. Then he never came at all. I, I just imagined that he came, didn't I? He will always be with you, Diane. And I was so sure. The first time I saw him, he, he rose up from the sewer and, and had stars in his hands. There. There. There is your evening star rising above the rooftops. Chico, Diane, heaven. He's not dead, I know, Father. are filled with you. Oh, they tried to make me believe you were dead, but they couldn't. They couldn't. Oh, I, I've been hit by every shell that's made, but I'll never die because the idea inside me was gone. And I'll see. <laughs> they can't keep me blind. I, I tell you, Diane, I'm a very remarkable fellow. 
Oh, yes. A very remarkable fellow. Meanwhile, thanks to Jeanette Nolan, Bill Conrad, Norman Field, Marvin Miller, and to our entire company. Seventh Heaven was written by Austin Strong and originally produced by John Golden. Mr. Golden is the producer of the current success, The Male Animal, now in its sixth month on Broadway. The Railroad Hour is brought to you each week at the same time by the American Railroads. Marvin? Ladies and gentlemen, our political parties and candidates have told their stories... In this most critical time, our domestic and foreign problems have been thoroughly examined. Never before in history have so many people had the opportunity to see and hear political candidates express their views. Now it's all up to you to say what you think. So no matter what, be sure to vote tomorrow. Thank you, Marvin. Now, ladies and gentlemen, here again is California's own lovely Ann Ayers. Thank you, Gordon. It was wonderful being in seventh heaven with you tonight. <laughs> Tell me, what's on the show train next week? A wonderful Rogers and Hart hit, Dearest Enemy. And Eileen Farrell will be our guest. I'll be listening, Gordon. Good night. Good night, Anne. You were a wonderful Diane. All aboard. Well, dear friends, it looks as though we're ready to pull out. And so until next Monday night, and Dearest Enemy, this is Gordon McRae saying good night. <laughs> Seventh Heaven was presented by arrangement with 20th Century Fox, whose current release is Darrell F. Zanuck's Technicolor production, The Snows of Kilimanjaro, with Gregory Peck and Susan Hayward. Gordon McRae appeared through the courtesy of Warner Brothers, producers of The Miracle of Fatima. Our choir is under the direction of Norman Luboff, and our music is prepared and conducted by Carmen Dragon. This is Marvin Miller saying goodbye until next week for the American Railroads. Now stay tuned for your Monday night of music on NBC. This is NBC, the nation's headquarters for election news.